Okay. Okay, I'm Dr. James, and today I'm going to talk about how to digitize your cassette tapes. Right? I don't know if a lot of you have uh, these things still. Old-time cassette tapes. Magnetic storage media. You'd like to put them on your computer. Here's how you. one way you can do it. So, uh, you're going to probably definitely need a uh, cassette tape recorder. So we got a cassette tape recorder here. You put your tapes inside of it. And uh, usually they have some kind of plugs here. They're going to require some kind of jack like that. So a small audio jack. And we're going to put this into the, uh, the earphone. It's labeled as earphone on the uh, cassette tape recorder. And then we have a volume here, so we're going to want to adjust the volume. And we want a cable that's got a plug like this at both ends, because we're going to plug the other end into the line in on your computer. You want to make sure not to go into mic, because mic is a much lower level, and it may damage the microphone level to put uh, audio level signal into a microphone level. So uh, look on your computer and find the audio in jack, and uh, be sure to use that one instead. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start up Audacity, okay? And then uh, we want to set the uh, the input. I, I, I tried these different ones until I uh, found the right uh, input, but it's line zero for my computer. And so we set that up. And then uh, basically we're going to hit record on Audacity. And then at the same time, we're going to hit play on our tape recorder. Okay. And we'll wait a little bit. Until we hear some, see some sound, sound bites. Okay, there's some audio. And so, if you adjust the... Uh, the volume on, on your output of your tape recorder, you can make those things smaller or bigger. You don't want them to clip, you don't want them to be too big, but you don't want them to be too small because uh, then uh, it'll be a noisy recording. So kind of in the middle, so it's a reasonable size, and so that's a good size for the audio output. Okay, so then uh, when we're done, we'll just hit stop, and then we can go to file, and uh, what I've been doing is uh, you actually want to export it as an audio wave file. So then you can choose a name and uh, hit save. And again, and it has saved your file. So we'll, we'll go to uh, test waveform and play it. Okay, and there we go. I am the witness. So we were able to digitize our cassette, old, old time magnetic cassette tapes, and put them into a computer format so we can uh, download them or uh, put them on websites, do whatever we want with them. And uh, thanks for watching.